This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 19th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Before I forget it, the basic storm spotter training schedule is uh, in full swing this coming week in the next couple, three weeks, actually. Uh, on March 21st, next Tuesday, we'll be in Lineville. Uh, actually, it's sort of about halfway between uh, Asheville and Lineville at the Clay County Farmer's Market and the EMA office. Hope to see you there. And if you're not in the Coosa County area, uh, maybe one of those other ones at Gardendale, Oxford, or Jasper, or Tuscaloosa at Shelton State will be able to fill the bill for you. Satellite image this morning features a lot of clear skies over the area and temperatures uh, down around uh, and in the lower part of the 40s. We did see the front move through our area and high pressure over uh, the Great Lakes and uh, stretching down into the Ohio River Valley is settling in over the southeastern U.S. And that's going to keep the weather pretty nice for the next couple of days. In the upper atmosphere, we do have a bit of a uh, trough uh, on the um, over the mid-Atlantic states, and that will be moving off into the Atlantic, and we'll be coming under a ridge for the most part for the next uh, several days before we see another big system at the end of the week. As I mentioned, temperatures uh, generally uh, in the 40s across central Alabama. We do note that it is a little cooler in the northeast part, as it often is, with temperatures up there in the 30s. Watch warning map is not too busy right now. Uh, the bright red pinkish areas you see are high fire danger. The gray along the uh, Louisiana and uh, southeast Texas coast, those are dense fog advisories. There's still a little bit of Freeze and frost uh, warnings and what uh, well warnings primarily and advisories in the Carolinas and then we have some uh, flash flood advisories up in the uh, northern Rockies. QPF well if you want rain uh, don't look for much of it in Alabama over the next five days. The next real threat will come on Wednesday and that's going to be a pretty isolated shower situation. The next one after that is going to be Saturday which is just beyond this five day forecast. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk uh, over the area uh, from about uh, Chicago over to um, a little bit to the northwest of St. Louis, uh, parts of Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. For day two, as the front settles a little closer, we see uh, just some thunder possibly over parts of the Ohio River Valley primarily and then in the northern Rockies. And for day three, we see a marginal uh, outlook over Tennessee. And the Storm Prediction Center is out looking for day six, uh, a fairly substantial area over uh, northeast Texas, the eastern part of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and northwest Louisiana. All right, let's get to the 060 GFS model run. There goes our trough, the ridge coming over us, and the high settling down into our area. So it looks like a great day in store for us, maybe a few high-passing cirrus clouds. The ridge uh, becomes the... Predominant player in the weather pattern on uh, Monday. It does uh, get uh, dampened down just a little bit as that big trough moves across southern Canada. And that trough is forecast to drag a front uh, down into the Ohio River Valley on Tuesday. And then uh, as that system moves off and strengthens a little bit uh, as it gets over extreme northern New England, and deepens just a bit, we see the front push down into the Tennessee River Valley on Wednesday. And that's when I expect to see some primarily isolated showers uh, across the area. We might hear a few uh, peals of thunder. By Thursday, the ridge uh, is uh, back in place for us, so it uh, should be a fairly uh, nice day. Friday, we begin watching this system off to our west as the trough comes out of the southern Rockies, comes out across Oklahoma and north-central Texas, and uh, that is uh, what is being forecast on day six uh, for the potential for some severe weather over in uh, eastern Oklahoma, northeast Texas, Arkansas, northwest Louisiana area. And then that system moves across the lower Mississippi River Valley on Saturday, and uh, this run, the GFS, is just a bit faster than it was yesterday. Yesterday, it looked like it probably wasn't going to come across our area until uh, the early afternoon. Now it looks like most of the weather is going to be between about 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Saturday. And concerning the possibility of severe weather, we see that we do have some pretty substantial Cape values. But just like we showed you yesterday, while we do have uh, Cape values on the order of, uh, they're a little bit lower, but 12 to 1,600 or so, 
And those are very substantial values for uh, the, the convectively available potential energy or CAPE. We also see that the shear is displaced well ahead of the CAPE values. So it could be one of those situations where we have high CAPE and low shear, uh, and we may see a damaging wind event. By Sunday, the, the trough, the big trough is over the east coast, and we're coming back under a ridge, so we're not going to see any extremely cold air with this system. Uh, as you can see, the high stays well to the north over southeastern Canada. All right, looking out into voodoo country, and just as you might expect for this time of year, uh, the, the weather pattern is pretty active. We see a trough coming across the Mississippi River Valley uh, around Tuesday, the 28th of March. Uh, we go under a bit of a ridge momentarily, but uh, we also have a pretty strong trough coming across the Oklahoma-Texas panhandles on the 31st of March. Thanks to the ridge, that system is uh, likely to be pushed well to our north, so probably not going to produce a severe weather potential for us. But by the time we get out to the 3rd of April, uh, the GFS forecasting a rather low latitude upper trough coming across the lower Mississippi River Valley, and that certainly has the look of potential for severe weather. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back in the saddle first thing on Monday with the next edition. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.